Hey and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel special welcome to my subscribers in today's video I'm going to review the Ardell professional magnetic liner and lash it has a gel it has the lash and the gel is magnetic so I am going to see if this is any good because I would like to wear some lashes because it opens up the eye and I have hooded eyes. So in today's video I would like to see if this is as easy as it seems. So uh, just putting the uh, gel liner on and then sticking the lash on. If that's that easy then I'll be happy to wear these very frequently. I haven't even opened this. So I didn't put any mascara at the beginning of this video because I do want to put these on and I want to see if they work. If you hear any sounds, it's the rain just against the window. It's being thrown by the wind. It's not particularly very nice weather today and there might be helicopters as well because in this area they are where I live. So sorry for that in advance. So what does it say here? One, apply two coats of magnetic gel liner along the upper lash line and two, place magnetic lashes on magnetic gel liner while liner is still semi-wet and gently press down to secure. Okay, that sounds, that sounds easy enough. Uh, I'm going to see if these are the right length for my eyes. Uh, I might have to trim them a bit, I don't know, I'll see. They look quite, they don't look very long, but we'll see. And I also have a magnetic gel liner in black in here. I got this from my local supermarket and I think it was about £10. I'm not sure I'm gonna need to double check that. But I, I did see these in a video, uh, a Jamie French video. It's a YouTuber I watch and she's so hilarious i just enjoy her videos i'm gonna post the link to her channel underneath probably you already know about her but uh she reviewed this and she was very impressed with how easy this was so that's why i picked this up in my supermarket i thought you know i'm just gonna give it a go because um i would like it to if it's that easy then i would like to try so let's see what's gonna happen. I can't wait to try this because I bought it a few days ago and I've been keeping it for this video. I want to try it on camera because there might be some people like me uh, out there uh, that are wondering how this works. And not that there are not any reviews online with this from other people, but I haven't done one and I haven't tried them. So I want to do it on camera and share this moment with you. <laughs> So let's see, I'm trying to open this with my nails, which you have to ex excuse my nails because my nail polish is a bit chipped, chopped, chipped. I have to do my nails, but I didn't have time today. God, is this gonna... Mm. Okay, okay, I'm trying to get in this. There's foundation on the box now. I'll be right back when I can open this. One hour later. And look at what it has in here the gel liner, the brush, the lashes. First I'm going to put a bit of brown in my crease just so I can... Uh, uh, should I? Yes, I'll, I'll do that and then I'll pop these lashes on. I gave a bit of dimension to my eye like when I put a bit of brown above here because it just works really well for my hooded eyes. I'm curious to see the formula for the gel liner because oh look, it has a little thing on the back here to keep it secure in the box. Oh, this fell down. Okay, so the gel liner. Oh, wow, it's so small inside there, the diameter of this circle. I expected the whole thing to be filled with gel. I don't mind, but do I? Maybe I do. I don't know. And a little brush here, which says Ardell here on it like that, which is very cute. I do like that they're not all the way. I think they have three little magnets. Magnets on the base the lash i'm gonna pick this liner i like the formula it's quite uh, it's not too soft it's not too runny so i'm looking straight ahead and just creating that line oh god this mirror is so dirty i think i spoke too soon about the formula so dr it dries out immediately i'm freaking out because i have to apply this um and not let it dry completely because then it won't work. <gasps> this dries so fast. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. What do I do? I didn't prepare myself with mirrors here next to me. I mean, this is already dry. What do you mean semi-wet? It's not wet at all. Okay. 
I mean, I could stop here because I usually like to not apply the liner all the way through, to be honest. Okay. That's looking decent. Oh, it doesn't look decent. It just looks weird. This formula dries out so fast. I don't know. It's uh, To me, it's dry already, so I need to pop the lash on. Okay, that's the moment now. That's it. Is it? Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. Is this on? Um, oh, okay, I have to gently press as well. Um, a helicopter is coming, of course. Yeah, it was fairly easy to be honest, and it looks nice doesn't look bad you know what I forgot to put mascara on the lash you can tell I'm not used to lashes because I forgot steps here but I did the liner uh, the formula is very dry I could barely drag it across the skin basically you don't have to wait long until you have to pop this lash on I am impressed because it was easy and I'm actually impressed, I'm speechless as you can see. It doesn't look bad either when I look down. You see, I need to fix the liner here. I think I'm gonna fix it not with the same liner, but with some black pencil, which I have prepared here. Um, the only thing I see this magnet here lifts a bit. Not lifts, but maybe it's the way I put the liner. You need to put it a bit thicker, or I don't know. I don't wanna ruin it, actually, I'm ruining it now. I forgot to put mascara and therefore it doesn't look as good as it would look with mascara probably but usually I put the liner first or whatever I do to my eye and then mascara is the last step for me but maybe I should put mascara now so I'm gonna do this eye with mascara and then I'm gonna put the liner because as soon as the liner goes in on I need to put the lash because it just dries on so fast uh, again I was grabbing the liner no 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 Georgie just grab the mascara and I'm gonna curl my lashes, put a bit of mascara on, and by the way, I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Daring Black Mascara. This is my favorite super drug supermarket mascara, and it just makes my lashes really voluminous and puffed up and long and beautiful, so I don't normally wear lashes, but I'm always trying to look for mascaras that give me that lash effect and i am um very i'm a fan of natural as natural as you can get also i'm a bit um extra cautious with putting too many things on my eye foreign things on my eye like glue even though it's lash glue but it's a glue i don't know near my eye i'm very paranoia like that and therefore I prefer to just wear mascara but I do admit when you put a good pair of lashes and you stick them well and they look good they do look good and they, they open up the eye and they make your eyes look more f flirtatious and uh, bigger and younger and open and beautiful so yes if it's the right lash then I like these are quite natural looking I like them now I'm going to wait for this mascara to dry a bit and be right back to apply the gel and see how it looks with mascara on but before i do look at this mascara i mean i like it um i didn't even insist very much maybe i should insist a bit just to show you this mascara is very very good and i had mascaras that are more expensive than this one and i feel like it does the same thing for my lashes i mean not that the expensive ones are bad but you can get just as good or better with the cheaper affordable mascara and I love this one Maybelline and there are others from supermarket that I do like like L'Oreal it was one in the past maybe I'll find a photo and put it on the screen and that I like this well makes my lashes really nice but at the moment this is what I use and I actually bought another one of these because this is running low and I have another one spare that's how much I like it I bought it again okay I hope it's gonna be even because it's weird to put mascara on first I don't know if this is gonna be for me though because I don't see myself fiddling like this. Oh my god. The mus 
my camera doesn't want to cooperate so it switched off i don't know what i was saying i don't know what you've seen last time hey it's me georgiana from the future i just couldn't have left you like that because my camera sabotaged me it just didn't cooperate and for the first time ever it cut out a really important section because for a video like this you want to probably see how the magnetic lash goes on to the magnetic liner so i have to i have to do it i have to show you again and therefore it gives me a chance to play with this again because i haven't been using it since i filmed the video actually because it's just fiddly and i'm lazy to do it so that gives me a chance to maybe fall in love with this technique so this time uh learning from the mistakes uh with the first time i used this product i'm gonna use a brush and i'm going to do the section that you didn't see all over again better hopefully i'm probably gonna switch between these two brushes to see which one works better I'm going to start with my favorite one this is the kiko number 61 i usually like to apply liner with this one i'm gonna apply one coat and then i'm going to apply mascara and then the second coat Oh my god, this liner, it's been about a week since I filmed the video and this liner is just already dried in the pot. Looking straight ahead because I have hooded eyes. Kind of holding on to the skin, not stretching it, you know. Just to help myself. Wow, this brush works so much better. Because it's longer, I can handle it better. So just use your favorite liner brush for this if you're gonna use this product. Even the formula behaves better with this brush. Now I'm gonna put mascara. I know you're supposed to put the lashes when this is semi-wet, but uh, you need two coats, which I haven't done last time because it was my first time using this product, so now I learned my lesson. It feels more natural, sorry for the noise, it feels more natural to apply um, liner first and then mascara. So therefore, liner first, mascara, and then the second coat goes on, and then the lash over. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I think mascara does help uh, prior to lashes because they make the lashes look thicker and better so I learned the lesson last time when I did this video I'm gonna have to keep on looking at the camera I don't know what's wrong with my Sony Alpha 5000 I have that I'm filming with and sometimes this switches off unexpectedly and sometimes I lose footage when I film which is very very frustrating and uh, in this video, I lost important footage where I was doing essential things. <laughs> Very important to the video. I couldn't have left my video like this. Okay, I gave the shape that I wanted to the liner. Uh, I think it's important to do that with the, with the first coat. And then the second coat is just going to be purely to just lay product on there. And then for the lash to have what to adhere to. Is that the word? Adhere? Adhere? You know, to stick to? <laughs> I think the mascara is dry now. Just gonna place the product kind of where I want the... Oh my god, it's so dry. Or It's just dry. Oh, it dries up so much. Look at that. I'm barely dragging it. I don't know if it's a good idea to do it like this either. a bit weird though i mean i thought this is the right way to do it like that to just uh put the second coat uh, after mascara but i suppose i don't know the product just drags weirdly i'm curious if this other lash will just go on one one coat let's see it does does this stay with one coat <sighs> hmm i don't know not really i mean it's just if the wind blows this flu Flow, flows, flow, flies away if the wind blows. And this is Scotland I live in, so wind blows all the time here. My lash might just, uh, let's see, pretend it's windy. Ooh. No, it kind of stays. Doesn't look very natural, I must say. It looks, uh, it looks like it's a lash there. Um, maybe when I look straight ahead, it looks more natural. This looks dodgy, even though it should look perfect because I've put two coats i did everything right i've put mascara if anything it looks more natural with one coat uh, at least uh, from the front but when i look down it looks unnatural you can uh, clearly see that i have lashes on that's what i don't like about lashes you know if they're not 
I mean, there are lashes. If you know how to put lashes with the glue and stuff, the normal, regular ones, then I can look amazing, probably, for, for pros, but... I don't know. Can I move this, like, in a different way? You see, if you take it away, it's almost like the magnet uh, takes from the product away, you see? Just took from the liner. Let's uh, try it again. It does uh, stick on, but I don't know how efficiently, because if the wind blows, I don't know if this will stay in place. I'll try to put the second coat, though, to see what happens. Let me try with the other brush, maybe because the other brush is uh, dirty and that's why it sticks. Just to put a bit of product. And then immediately, because this is already semi wet you don't even have to wait wow so immediately have to, you have to put it on see it just went on very well wow this went on so fast because i immediately put it on i didn't wait for this to go semi matte or anything because this is already very dry either i got a, a bad batch of um product and this is too dry uh, in the pot for some reason or they're all like that you have to immediately work with it look this is so sturdy actually so um it worked like that now back to the video and in terms of is it working the lash just sticks to the magnetic liner yes it does it sticks and I'm very surprised because I did try in the past I should have said this at the beginning of the video I tried in the past another uh, magnetic lashes with the liner as well and I bought it from Aliexpress I waited for it for a while because that's what happens if you order from Aliexpress but I just didn't like it it was very fertile it didn't work right I didn't like it so I just gave up with the idea of magnetic lashes until I saw Jamie French's video with this and she was impressed because it just was easy so that's why I bought these to be honest I would have never bought them uh, and gave it a try again but they do work and um, oh no I spoke too soon wait that magnet from the inner corner was dragging was falling down but it looks odd it doesn't look natural when I look down though this is such a thick formula that it drags the skin a bit i'm not uh, excited about it. oh my god look i noticed now that the box of the gel liner has a like it's just so little product in here i'm actually impressed with these lashes because they work they did what it said on the box uh, you put the liner on you put the lash on and that's it uh but the recommendation that I have to give you, put a wider line, a thicker line, and maybe put mascara first, just like I did with this side, because it actually does make a difference, looking at the difference between these two eyes. Um, it's just this is more voluminous and more, it has more depth to it, and it's better looking, don't you think? This side with the mascara on first and this side, this side... Uh, could be better so put the mascara first wait for mascara to dry put the liner and not too thin because it works best when it's a bit thicker i'll probably gonna still play with this product around and see if it grows on me i might just chuck it to the side because i won't be bothered to fiddle with the liner the formula is quite thick that's another thing you have to keep in mind so it says it has to be semi wet when you apply the lash the lashes and i felt like it was drying so fast i had to work faster so i actually forgot to to apply two coats of it which they recommend two coats but when to apply two coats maybe wait for one coat to dry in my head i wanted to just apply everything all at once yeah um so just apply one coat you know what thinking about it oh my god i keep blinking and i see them you know they're not very comfortable to wear it's not like wearing mascara, you know, I'm not used to it. Maybe if you're used to it, it's better for you, but I just feel like, feel them, yeah. Maybe, I just thought of it, as I said, you can apply one coat of the li liner and then apply mascara and then it feels like if you apply the liner first and then the mascara you know and then go on top of the first coat of liner and apply the second coat how they recommend and then pop, pop these on that's something that i thought of now so you see you just learn stuff with experience and uh, do stuff differently it looks nice i they worked i do recommend them just give them a try if you're curious about magnetic lashes and i must say the more i um blink and just have them on the more i get used to them and how they feel even though i do see them i see them a bit you know and i feel them on my lashes they're not as comfortable as just wearing mascara you know 
but uh, if you if you like to wear lashes and you want to try them then i do recommend these so thank you so much for watching my video and please give this video a like if you liked it you thought it's useful and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed what are you waiting for <laughs> and click the notification bell and i'll see you in my next video bye Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't